Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am up today for UK Scrap Addicts. So for the first of the month, we always start a new theme and um, this month we are concentrating on stamping techniques. And I was desperate to use these stamps. Um, I bought them recently. They are um, Hunky Dory stamps and I just wanted to use that rainbow so badly. Um, I've tested them out. Um, I did a little bit, little bit of a test run before I did this and I'm working in my traveller's notebook. So I have gone through a lot of my photos that I printed from January to June for 2019 um, and the photos that I have left I do have a lot to go into my traveller's notebook so I thought I would crack out my traveller's notebook today and do a quick little spread um, but demonstrating how you can use stamps in your um, scrapbooking don't forget those stamps. So if you are watching over on the UK Scrap Addicts channel, hi, um, welcome and um, hopefully we'll have some more inspiration for you later on this month from some of the other uh, team members. If you are um, watching on um, my channel, Scrappy Nerd UK, um, then I do urge you to go over to the UK Scrap Addicts um, Facebook um, oh, Facebook group, you could do that as well. Um, but you could go over to the uh, UK Scrap Addicts uh, YouTube channel as well and go and give us a little subscribe there. Uh, we do have a team of UK ladies um, all sharing their inspiration uh, throughout the month. And as I said before, we pick a different theme every month. So this month we are concentrating on stamps. Now, these stamps here, look at this rainbow. It is amazing. So I've just pulled out some stamping up ink pads in um, almost like a rainbow order. Um, and I am using my stamp press here just to help with um, the alignment. To be fair, I, I'm not too fussed if this rainbow doesn't line up absolutely perfectly, and it doesn't. Um, so for me, my my tips, my techniques, and my tips for my stamping techniques are um, to not be a perfectionist because this rainbow is not perfect by any means, and yet I still love it. So I know that people get really het up on um, having perfect stamping and they don't do stamping because they can't get things straight and they can't stamp perfectly. Honestly, just get over those um, that perfectionist trait um, and just get your stamps out and get them used. That's what you've got them there for. So um, I'm going to put that rainbow to one side uh, for the minute to dry. And then I'm going to work on the left side. So the only bit of pattern paper that I'm using is the rainbow paper from L Studio underneath my photo. Um, and the rest of it, oh, all I'm doing here actually, um, the rest of my layout is going to be a stamped background. All I'm doing here is I'm just priming my stamp. So I've not used this stamp yet. Um, and so putting ink onto it, um, the ink tends to pull. Um, and you don't get the clean image. So what I've done is I've just used um, uh, an eraser, or if you're in the UK, a rubber, and I've just gone over the stamp with that, um, and then I've just used a brush just to get rid of the um, the, the rubber shavings. And um, that then helps to prime the stamp. So if you are struggling with a new stamp, um, then yeah, get an eraser, rub that over, or also you can rub the uh, stamp onto your skin as well. The oil from your, the natural oils in your skin um, are also meant to help um, with priming of a new stamp. So what I'm doing here, so all of that right side is going to be my stamped background. And I'm just using a scrap piece of card to cover that left edge um, or the middle edge, the, the middle edge, to cover the middle um, where the two sides of the paper join and I want to do that because I want to hang over that a little bit when I'm doing some stamping so it doesn't end up perfectly lined up. Now you'll see on here I'm not worried about how my stamping looks. I'm literally just pressing it down on a block. Um, if I was really worried about my stamping then I would most definitely grab um, my stamping platform and put my traveller's notebook in there. 
Um, it uh, doesn't quite fit um, because the stamping platform for my one is a bit smaller, but I could make it work. But I just want to show you that you don't have to you don't have to be a perfectionist uh, when it comes to stamping. So I am stamping in um, a Versafine black ink. And that is going to be the majority of um, the sentiments that I stamp. So I'm going to use the same sentiment over and over. So repeat stamping. But in amongst that repeat stamping, just to break it up a bit, I'm going to use the same colours that I used for the rainbow. So each of the colours, the six colours that I've used, will also appear in this stamp background. And there you go, I've just fast forwarded um, so you can see. Now I've ended up with these little gaps and I'm just going to grab another stamp from the same set, just these little rain drops. And again, I'm just going to go back in um, with the same colours and I'm just going to move those colours around. So the yellow from the bottom, I'm bringing up to the top. Um, and then the colour did I go with next? Oh, this orange is at the bottom at the moment. So I'm going to put it somewhere... Basically, not right next to it. I'm just going to add it in there. Now, not everything is straight. Uh, not everything has even gaps. Um, not everything... Some things are touching each other. Um, the stamping isn't always perfect. But do you know what? It's absolutely fine. No one's going to criticise it. If they're looking through your album and go, oh, you didn't stamp that S there quite right. Um, so... For me, it is just a case of, um, yeah, just get rid of your uh, perfectionisms and, is that a word? Is it? Um, and just get the stamps used. So, yeah, I've just added in then a few of the little raindrops and coming in with the pink now as well. There we are. And I decided to go with pink rather than red uh, for the first colour in the rainbow just because... I like it and then I'm going oh I'm going to add one there as well I realized there was a gap again just making sure that that uh, that bit of paper there is nice and straight so when you stamp off the um, the main paper it catches the rest of the print so you can see there I have a nice clean left side of my page um, because that has protected it so now I'm just going to work on the left hand side so here is my uh, stamped rainbow so that's nice and dry now so I'm just going to trim that out uh, with uh, with my scissors and I'm going to give the bottom I don't want all of that white so I'm just going to trim it to um, get rid of a lot of that white how cool is that rainbow I just love it I could see myself making a full 12 by 12 background uh, by repeat stamping those rainbows. Um, I'll add that to my list of um, ideas, perhaps. See, it's looking at things like this that remind me of other things that you can do with, um, with the stamp. So on a smaller scale, this will work. On a bigger scale, repeat stamping those rainbows would look fab. So I might try that. So I've just added on some ATG and stuck that down. Now I want a bit of glitz. So I'm just adding in these little uh, gold glitter stars. And I use my EK Success um, confetti punch to, um, to punch those out. And I'm just adding those with some um, tape from my ATG gun. Now, um, I ordinarily, I would use wet glue for these because it's much easier um, but because I'm working my traveller's notebook, I tend not to use wet glue. Um, it does make the page warp sometimes. So um, trying to stick to a dry adhesive like a tape runner is much more effective. There we are. That uh, That is my stars on. I'm going to add... Um, I'm going to add some journaling lines here. Now, when you see the end result of this, they are in pencil. Um, but I have actually gone over them in a uh, black Sharpie, um, fine line Sharpie as well, just to um, give it a little bit more interest and also help with the balance of the black <clears throat> from the right hand side as well. Now this photo here, 
um, was taken last year. So I had um, booked a trip to Florida um, and this was last April. Well, we booked it in March, I think, but we were going in May. Um, but April, we looked at the weather forecast and it was due to rain whilst we were there. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to embrace it. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to buy myself a new rain mac to cheer myself up. Um, so I bought this rain mac and uh, decided to jump into the garden and take a quick photo, a quick selfie of, of me and my rain mac. Sorry about this, it's being cut off. Um, and that's pretty much done. So thank you very much for joining me. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. Bye.